First podcast uh, before the podcast even come yeah, out. Right? Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, dog? Live from the motherfucking pen, nigga. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. But boy, I sure enjoyed it. I just want to tell you thank you for that, man. You live from, man, you was, you was, you was, Giving us really pretty much a whole layout. That was the first podcast uh, before the podcast even came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> What's up, dog? Live from the motherfucking pen, nigga. Like it was just, it's just something else. Every time I would hear you go into another mode, like I said, for some reason I was thinking it was Bun's brother. I, I don't know why I thought that, yeah. but I was like, but those were actually real characters. Like Lazario Farraga, he's still in prison in Mississippi really? now. Yeah, I'm actually. Trying to get him on some more skits, like to get him some more wow. skits because he, like, I didn't get paid for it. He didn't either. See what I'm saying? Yeah, you can hear the the realness yeah, the in that, the yeah. realness of the being there. That and what year was that? Was that in ninety five, ninety four? Ninety five, ninety six. Ninety five, ninety six. Ninety five, ninety six. Yeah, That's man. You, man. Uh, like, bro, it was like an open bay with like hundred and twenty guys, and then like you, you got every, 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 every. Every situation, every clandestine situation in there. You and then you got okay, like if you you in Mississippi in prison, like you from a particular place. You from Greenville. You from Jackson. You from Vicksburg. But y'all all a particular. You know, you might be a gangster vice lord. That's a subset right there because the gangsters from Vicksburg and the gangsters from you know what I'm saying. So it's, it's kind of that stuff. You get the country boys and stuff like that, but it's real horrible in those prison systems down there now, bro. And I mean, I wish somebody in this world could hear my voice, man, and pay attention to the prison system and the things that they're doing, the voters, dis the voter disenfranchisement in Mississippi, man. Yeah. So I'm down there, you know, we, we pushing that, bro. I ain't like the music is cool, but I ain't really got my ass on the music. If it yeah, do something you're trying good, to help. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to help my people, like, but and you know, just to, to develop a sustainable way of income and living for black folk, man, all of us don't got nothing. It's a very few. That's so true. I mean. I say it all the time. Most of us don't have shit, mm. right? And so that's not the way it's supposed to be. We steady around asking folks for shit. Yeah. We got to help us. Us got to help We got to help ourselves, right? You got to got there complaining, but you won't do nothing about that what you complain about. Man, stop it, man. That's real. I we agree gotta 100%. Help, we got to help ourselves. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of where Smoke I'm Smoke D. Man. You said live from the motherfucking pen. Right. And then you, what is, What else on that whole thing do you remember that was, that sticks out to you when you, when you did that? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off of it. But what was, what one other thing on that when you said it on that track where he, he took it, Pimp C took it and put it there and you like, dang, when you listen to it. Uh, that intro before Dime was up against that wood. What did, what, do you remember it? Uh, what do you want to send these niggas in here out of sight? The most fucked up, yeah. They can't stand to see a nigga. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, shout out to my partner. Like, my, I met bro, I'm going to tell you how I was getting that. Like, we was in the monkey suits. Like, them the yellow suits. Yeah. Like, you know, okay, you, 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 you in the system now, so you're starting at ground zero. You're in the monkey suits. Yeah. So, it's like, you're not allowed to get off the beds. Unless you ask, you have to raise your hand like it's 120 dudes. Like that, you know, you can get beat to sleep if you want to. You ain't gonna do that. So, like you're not allowed. To, but then me having connections, you know what I'm saying? I had the officer to come in and he would put he would like he would bring steaks, lobster, like whatever I had. I gonna sit and then he would put it on the toilet of the on the toilet beside the end. And then when he comes through and count, nobody know how to get off. They they not to get off the bed. But then when you know my signal was when he scratches his head and hit his head is up there. You know what I'm saying? Then me and Cuban we ease on up there. Cuban head over there first because it's, you you're not gonna ask, come and ask me on the shit. I mean I'm on the toilet, so you can't come up there. And we'll get in the corner, guzzle down. We guzzle down, hide, do whatever we gonna do. Go <laughs> and wipe your mouth and repeat the midnight to tea. Then go catch your rag, man. Yeah, and then, like, that just kept happening until, again, me not knowing how to use the power that God gave me. Yeah. I started having a different wife every week, like, getting the girl changed. I was married, but the wife I had at the time, we wasn't, 
cool in that way. Shit, I got a different wife every week. Get the clerk, put it on. She, she my wife, and then you come. And they would let me do it. Yeah, wow. They, they let me do it. Smoke D say these niggas in here out of sight. But you, you were sick of them niggas' ass in there. I that dude, like, still, he still look like he from, like these dudes are from Jackson. You got to understand. Yeah. Like, I won't say his name, but of like, course. He, he's still alive. Like, But, you know, for me, to see him in this day and time, like, you know, to I understand, you know, from, from living in Jackson how things can get because that same guy, you know, he's smoking boulders, biggest King Kong shoulders right now. Damn. You know what I mean? Man. Like he on that yin. But, you know, it's, it's just the truth. And you, know, you go to see him and you just, I mean, man, hey, man, we all victims of our own device. No, that's real. You got to take your lead. Man, I, I like I said, I just, that, that my, again, man, I know you say that was a smoke D, but that, I, I listened to that when I was young, man. I mean, you run around thinking, man, think about think it. about when you was young, bro. What were we doing? We wasn't we on cutting shit. up. Yeah, we yeah, weren't on nothing. The hell? We were cutting <laughs> up. <laughs> and, 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 and then we had a nerd talk about these kids today. We were the reason why the youngsters the way they That's what I'm today. saying. Look, nobody won't fault. tell the truth so about it. Niggas won't tell the truth. It's our fault. See, they won't tell the truth at all. It's our fault. They won't sit up and complain. They ain't do shit. Come on, man. Man, these he youngsters, they, man, they got sticks hanging yeah. out. Why? Nigga, you had a Uzi. They got a Draco. It's the same effect. Same thing. Same, what the hell? Same flavor, different label, bro. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Man, Smoke D, man, I know, man, I just want to thank you for coming up to Dallas, man, sitting down at Boss Talk 101, hanging out with your boy, man. man how I we had gonna, to be here, man. How we going to do the single, man? I want to get, I ain't no music promoter. Like, I ain't, bro, you want to talk about none of this It stuff. don't matter, man. I love the fact the way you are. Like, the way you've done everything, you didn't have to have no rhyme or reason. It came out, and it hit the way it supposed to hit. It affected the world the way it's supposed to affect thank it. Thank you, bro. Now you got a brand. And now you're able to go into these places, do certain things man. because of what, man, God was working in that too. Man, come on. And no matter how you try to look at it, God was working in that too. Right. One thing I, I see in the good book, when Joseph says, brother sold him off, I always talk about that. His brother sold him right. off, Potiphar wife lied on him. You see what I'm saying? All these different things start happening. You know what I'm saying? His brother didn't, didn't come back around, but the whole thing, when he got to his brothers, even though they did him wrong and sold him off to the, uh, the Egyptians and the Midianites or whatever. You know what he said? I'm going to get my son and then this He said, man. what? Y'all in turn... Y'all intended for me for bad, God turned into mm-hmm. good. Yeah, amen, amen. So man. everything you went through up until this point, God that's turned into good. Exactly, man. So I don't mind talking about the journey because that's where I'm going to learn something, Matt. That's and, the answer. Come the on answer now. The answer is what it takes to get the, the answer. The journey. That's the answer. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.